In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they pass on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. 
Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. What does the COVID-19 teach you? There were many who went hungry and thirsty because they do not have work to have an income to buy foods for them to eat. It already shown us how important the presence of one another. We have watched how people from all over the world have helped their followers. The essential things we should have now are foods and drinks, vitamins and minerals. All that we can have to stay healthy and nourished and safe and most importantly we need to pray we need jesus more than anything else right now is jesus the most important priority in your life is he the center of your life or is it the riches and material things Material things are physically present while you are still alive. Your happiness from your riches are only for a short time. And we all know that. What will happen when you leave this world? You should be aiming for true happiness. You should be saving now forever happiness. And that is the heavenly kingdom. Jesus' words in today's gospel, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. These words of Jesus are abundance of promise. You will never have to worry anymore. You will never be hungry and thirsty and all you need to do is to believe in him what we have to do is to give ourselves to him and our needs will be satisfied christ is always here waiting for us as what i have said any seconds minutes, hours, days, years, he's waiting for you.
Amen. Confident that God knows the needs of our hearts and seek to give us what we need, we now offer Him our prayers and petitions. For Holy Mother Church, may the Lord look graciously upon her needs, sanctify her, and increase her in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. For civil and business leaders around the world, may the Lord give them grace to respond to the needs of the most vulnerable whom they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. For those exiled from their homes by threats of violence, war, or persecution, let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, May the Lord ever increase our faith and guide us in the path of virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they be raised on the last day to the fullness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray also for the special intention of Edmundo and Telma Girina, Esther Murg. Mugrusa, and also we pray those who are celebrating their birthdays today, most especially Nanay Doreen, Felicitas, happy birthday po, and those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries. And we continue to pray our frontliners and those who died just because of the pandemic, those who got the virus, and we pray our brothers and sisters who are sick. Let us pray for the speedy recovery. Those who have cancer and those who are dying this very moment. And we always continue to pray our brothers and sisters experiencing a lot of problems. Most especially family problems, financial problems, and health problems. And let us pray also for peace all over the world. Let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Good and gracious God, you promised to feed us with the bread that never fails to satisfy Hear these prayers we make and graciously give us what we need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the fork of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed day, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, get wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, so Almighty Father.
Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, all together, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that may the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass sended. Go and let us pray for one another. Alleluia, alleluia.